hello guys welcome you all to my youtube channel today video we are going to talk about what is the difference between namespace and the module so if you are using a type script uh, you uh, definitely get confused what is the uh, difference between these type script uh, module and the namespace so most of the developers get confused uh, the difference when you are asking a different about this namespace and the module so we get confused uh, what actually uh, these doing is so we all know this uh, namespace and the module is basically what doing is uh, basically it's grouping everything so if you are grouping something and if you are not like to pollute out to a uh, global scope uh, you are using this namespace or a module so basically everything you are defined inside that, that particular namespace or a module right so basically it's a grouping thing so in this video we are going to see why this namespace is coming to the picture and the module also coming to the picture and what is the difference between this namespace and the module and what kind of problem this namespace or module will be resolving for us those things we are going to have a look in this video then let's dive into the video why we need this namespace and why we need this module yeah basically what kind of problem this resolving is assume the scenario if you have a javascript file right so it's linked with your html file using the script tag now whatever the things you are writing let's say you are declaring a one variable in the js file and over a function in your js file right so when you are uh, run you run your code in the run your file in the browser uh, you can see everything in the windows so global scope everything we can see in the global scope assume the scenario i will show you demonstrate in the uh, real code here so i'm creating for this uh, small uh, html file here index.html and i have a source file inside this source file i'm creating file called index.js now index.html what i'm doing is creating a skeleton of this and i'm using this h1 namespace was module right and inside here i'm using the script tag here in this script tag src and the index.js now so let me run this so now if you open this one uh, you can see in the network tab our file is get load here index.js right so index.js nothing at the moment and uh, let's declare one variable here i am calling a name assigning a value called rahim right so and i am uh, creating another function print my name so this will be printing when i call this this will, should this should be uh, log and say my name is name uh, okay this is duplicated okay let's call this name my name right so now if i run this one so if i uh, so the browser is already refresh now if i use this window sorry so windows so window command you can see here uh, my name so let me show you that here look at this my name rahib right and also a function i have created that is print my name so let's see print my name is available here uh, print my name uh, look at this one so whatever the things we are declare in the javascript file everything is uh, uh, keep in so everything are stored in our global scope so this is what we call global scope whatever the things we are writing in the javascript everything is uh, uh, available uh, in the outside so this is what normally called the global scope so if you guys don't know about what is this global scope and we have in the javascript we have three kind of uh, scopes that is one is a global scope second is a functional scope third is a block level scope so if you don't know about these uh, javascript scopings 
uh, put below in the comment section i will create a different video for that and i will teach you what is uh, this javascript scoping right so meantime if you uh, don't know about this uh, scoping things i already told you this is a global scoping uh, please find it uh, rest of the thing what is a functional scoping and the block level scoping right so let's come back to the topic uh, if i want to access that particular globally available uh, variable or uh, functions whatever things we with already existing declare in the javascript file what i am doing is i am using this window command and my name so now it's available to access this particular functions or anything windows dot again i am using a print my name right so if i call this this will get print my name is rahim so let's say uh, now this is basically globally available this uh, uh, declared variable and the functions right i can override it as well so if it is available in the global global scope we can override that particular value i'm going to uh, override this value uh, my name with a different uh, name dot my name right i'm going to use john do now if i retry that retrieve that value so right now that is gone so whatever the things available in the global scope we can override it so that is possible so basically this is a, a kind of a thread let's say for example you are developing a code that you don't know you, you don't need to uh, modify any values or replace any values so you don't need to uh, uh, accessible your variables or anything your outside world like a global scope so this is the reason why this namespace and the module is come into the picture so what this namespace and both doing is module is doing is basically grouping everything in one place so uh, it's only available in the lo local scope not in the global scope so when you are accessing something you can only make it uh, some of the things accessible or the rest of the things you can hide it. so basically not visible to outside but you can accessible those uh, variables or anything in inside particular scope so that is what we call local scope right so let's uh, see so here in the ts file right now we have this index uh, js and html right so now i'm going to convert everything to typescript file before that i want to generate a ts config file so how to generate this ts config file is tse and you need to specify in it so once you uh, create this one so uh, this will get generate the target is es16 es2016 so it mean es6 right so uh, if you uh, in module you can see this is a common js module is the one get set up automatically here so at the moment i'm going to here right so here uh, we can see the compilation options here the target and module everything's are there these are by default enabled right so let's create our first ts file here so here i'm going to uh, create a main ts file first second i'm creating a dot ts uh, so i'm deleting this index js file right so now uh, here so here we can specify uh, our uh, out direction directory right so here we can specify whatever after compiling everything uh, where we need to store our js file so basically typescript is a uh, static typing tool if you don't know about these things i have created different video for that so you can i ha i will uh, attaching the link here or here somewhere you can go that particular link and you can uh, know, get to know about uh, if you don't know about typescript right so here i'm creating a dist uh, inside the dist folder i need to uh, uh, keep every uh, js file right so okay so first so yes first uh, we will see uh, the module right so module mean basically 
uh, so I already told you everything to be keeping in the uh, what you can say in the one group file right so to create the module uh, we can use this export right so export I'm creating a function call uh, print my name right print my name and here I'm mentioning a name here so it should be a string right so this should be written hello my name is name right so this is available in the uh, a.ts file so second uh, say hello to world right so i'm removing this one i don't need parameters hello everyone welcome to typescript world now i have this two file and with the export keyword right so this is right now considered as a modules right because we are exporting and Im going to import this uh, one if you want to access that particular things because we separate out uh, these files right so to export this how we export is sorry import is whatever things we are ex we need to use this export keyword otherwise it's not available to outside uh, files so make sure you need to add this export file here so whatever the things we are exporting here we can import from the other files so how to import is we need to use this import keyword right and the function name here print my name which is coming from where it's coming from a.ts coming from a.ts so if it is a typescript file you don't need to mention <coughs> the ts file it automatically get uh, extensions called ts right so another uh, uh, things i'm going to import is say hello to world it's coming from where it's coming from uh, b right so b is the file it's coming from now I am console log this one. I am console logging print my name it's coming from A, right? So print my name. I am passing here hip. Right? So again I am using this. It's coming from B. Say hello to us. So I don't need to pass anything here. Now, if I compile this one, so what do you think? So if I compile this, I'm going to use TSC. So if you use only TSC, so what this command will doing is uh, checking this TS config and based on this TS config, uh, it will get created. Uh, it will get compiling basically. Compile and generate a JS uh, file for us. So right now if i hit this tsc uh, this will be compile uh, generate a js file for us and it will be stored in our dist folder right so let's see that one so now you can see our dist file is get generated here so in the dist file we can see a b and main js file so it's a kind of a weird so uh, you can see here in the ts config file i have mentioned this common js so in the main main js file you can see it's saying it's coming with the required so command js is basically uh, mostly widely used in the node js right so uh, if you want to use a different kind of a module you can specify here so few of the module like uh, system js amd likewise right but by default this is generating a command js okay uh, let's link this disk to uh, our html file and see whether it's getting run or not now if i go here you can see here reference export is not defined so basically export is not working in your current browser because current browser is not going to understand what is this export mean right so due to this reason 
uh, basically we are using this ECMAScript script 6 right but in ts config file we mentioned common js is the one we when we are generating common js is the one we need to uh, based on module common js module is the one we need to use for as a module so if i uh, uh, command this one and if i generate this right uh, let's say i'm generating a tsc now you can see uh, i can see the es6 versions of this js file so now if i uh, refresh this uh, cannot use import statement outside of a model i'm using a disk folder and main js here so what kind of problem here showing here cannot use import statement outside a module ah, okay yeah i forgot this one so basically so this is basically a module right whatever things you are using the import uh, it is basically a module considered as a module in the typescript uh, sorry in the uh, browser if you want to uh, using this import uh, everything is uh, direct in your browser what you need to do is you need to specify the type call module otherwise this guy don't know whether it's module or not so now you can see uh, this is get printed uh, my name is uh, hello my name is rahim and the uh, TS file second TS file also get printed the for method hello everyone welcome to TypeScript world so this is what basically ES uh, six okay and uh, now you will get confused here so import is basically not supported in the browser right so basically import and export statement is supporting but the Xmark six six is supporting basically. Uh, if you are uh, developing for developing application for the latest uh, browsers it's definitely work but uh, some of the browsers uh, if you are using a older browsers it's not going to work uh, to check that uh, where you need to do is you can use can i use dot com dot com or something yeah so can i use this es6 module so here uh, bunch of list you can see whatever the browser supporting uh, this es6 uh, imports uh, and ex export so these are dynamic import you can see right now right xmas 6 is the one introduce these things so these are the browsers uh, working but this is not working in the uh, internet explorer level and uh, opera mini not working and these things and these are the oldest versions not supporting but the latest browsers version it's supporting so this is what ES6 module. So now let's discuss about uh, the different of this. So namespace. Earlier the namespace, everything's are coming with the TypeScript. So TypeScript is the one who introduced this namespace. But many people are get confused with uh, module and the namespace are same in the uh, TypeScript, right? No, it's totally different. So uh, basically. Uh, namespace is basically called as an internal module internal module and the uh, module is considered as an external module and also namespace is introduced in the TypeScript and module is introduced in the ECMAScript 6 so this is what the difference between these both two because the naming is getting confused by people so this is the reason behind this uh, namespace and the module right so yeah now as in the scenario you want to uh, use this uh, import and export statement to uh, basically you need you are targeting the browser is 2015 so it should be support to every browser not only uh, latest uh, browser but it should support to uh, oldest browser as well so 2015 es5 is the one support every uh, browser so if i want to convert this to uh, 2015 uh, so how to do that is so you can use a tsc here once again it get compiled so this is what we call tsc uh, ts uh, sorry uh, here you need to mention what so you need to mention here es 2015 or es file let's mention this uh, es file sorry so we need to mention this uh, open this uh, um, common js so if you want to use this common js right so you need to use 
you need to use this module loaders so yeah basically if you want to uh, convert this es6 syntax to import and export module statement to es5 you definitely need to use this module loaders so module loaders is the one uh, like a uh, system uh, js and uh, require js those things right so that will be convert everything and uh, inject to your script file or html file and after that you can run it so that is what basically we can do with that so here we see this is a common js file right so if i use this typescript compiler so now you can see the code is get changed so this is what we call what this is what we call a common js common js syntax right so uh, before uh, going to that i want to show you the namespace right i not yet uh, showed you the namespace right so let's see the namespace first to show that purpose i am going to create uh, a dot namespace dot ts and b dot namespace dot ts b namespace dot ts so these two are namespace right so what i am doing is i am going to take the same example and mentioning here and uh, here uh, i am going to use is what i need to uh, use is i need to mention the namespace here so namespace you need to uh, mention the name hello msd right so in here i am what i am doing is i am uh, putting inside this uh, namespace so here export and um, you definitely need to use this export otherwise it's not accessible to outside so here you can specify a constant or right the variable you can uh, declare here name right right so likewise you can specify here so if you want to use this you can specify this name here right so this is hello message the namespace hello message is there so in the namespace b file what i am doing is i am going to take the same thing here and uh, namespace uh, i am going to say hello message 2 uh, naming is uh, it's okay you can specify any name here but yeah i'm taking uh, for example i'm taking this as like this and i'm using this export right so now namespace is available for us now let's say uh, i want to access this to main ts file so how to do that so in the module we export and import from using this import key but in the namespace we cannot import like that instead of that what we need to do is we need to use a three slashes and the reference you need to use this reference path right so this is how you need to import it to your uh, internal file or uh, right so you need to specify here where your namespace file is going to use this a dot namespace and if you want to add multiple you can use this uh, b namespace likewise you can import multiple uh, things to uh, inside your main ts file so now i am taking this console log dot uh, console dot log print a namespace to access your namespace how do you how uh, you need to access is you need to use hello dot msg and you need to print your name so at the moment nothing is expecting here i'm using this so if you access a b what you need to do is you need to use this b hello msg2 and say hello right so it's coming from two now uh, you can you uh, can't use this tsc because why it's uh, import with a different one so 
I will show you this one. You can see uh, reference and these things. Right now, the main JS file is uh, linked with this uh, HTML file. So here you can see hello msg is a not defined. So it's not defined basically. So to resolve this, I'm going to remove this uh, module because a module we need to use if it is a, a module uh, ES6, uh, right? So right now I'm using a different one, right? So hello msg is not defined. So that is the message we are uh, uh, getting here. So here what I need to do is we need to use this TSC and we need to use this out file. So output file should be uh, we need to keep that in the disk folder and main J file. Uh, what are the files we need to take is need to take src and the main.ts file. So main.ts file include these uh, two things. So that will be include to this same file and uh, concatenate, concatenate this a namespace and b namespace typescript file into one. So it will be uh, to do that we need to use this tsc command and out file uh, disk main js and main ts. So if you use this one, uh, okay, what is the problem here? Out file src main ts file SRT the main ts is not found okay uh, not sure why it is once again let's use this dist folder main js is the file output generated uh, generate as the output and the src main dot main not the main it's a main ts file not a main t it's t is include that's the reason the main ts file so now you can see the main js file get generated here so here you can see hello msg print my name hello msg2 uh, right uh, say hello to us so if you are using now here if you refresh here now you can see it's working right so if i use this window command uh, come on window So window once again. So window dot say let's see hello msd. So now you can see print my name is available, but rest of the things are not available here. Right? The name is the local scope variable. You can see here it's a function name. Uh, rest of the things are not available so in the closure you can see the name here right so yeah this is how it is so this is how uh, the namespace will be so now you can see the difference between this namespace and the module so namespace uh, is introduced in the typescript uh, module is introduced in the ECMAScript script 6 Right. So this is what the difference between these two. So importing is different, uh, right? So if you are using a namespace, you need to use this reference tag and you need to specify the path. But if you are using a module, you need to uh, use export and import use in, uh, using import keyword. You need to import that particular file. So that's how it is. So this is what the main difference between these two. And uh, yeah, so let's come back to the topic i already told you if you are using this uh, what you can say uh, ecmascript 6 uh, import statement right so it's only work with the major browser not work with the what not work with the oldest browser to do that uh, you need to use a module loaders so module loaders is uh, supporting to you to generate uh, the particular code that is supporting your uh, browser and others right so once again i'm using this tsc now a disk folder is get created with this export and these things right now it's a common js right uh, let's uh, change this common js to uh, yeah i'm going to use this system js you can either use a webpack as well uh, so bundling tool is not uh, yeah 
webpack also you can do with uh, possible but i'm not going to use this webpack because it's a uh, uh, kind of uh, difficult to configure everything so due to that reason i'm going to use this system system js right system js let's go to this system js So you can see here, this is what system J is. So I'm going to install this uh, system J is here. Yeah. So yeah, so here they mention how to load your, uh, what you can say, load your, uh, uh, in load your module dynamically. Yeah, first uh, let's uh, install this one. To install this, using npm install system js save right now uh, it will take a little bit of time to install this one okay uh, let's go to our package json file here so you can see system js is there right uh, now we need to import this first so to import I'm using this script tag here. First, we need to import this. It's coming from where? Node module. So right now it's available in the node module. And system j is dist. And I'm going to use dot system min dot js. Right? So uh, I don't need to uh, use this one. Instead of that, I'm opening a script tag here. In this script tag, I'm going to dynamically load this main JS file. To do that, I'm going to use this system dot import, and uh, once again, I need to use this same thing here. Uh, it's coming from a dist and the main JS, right? Now, if I use this uh, TSC and generating compiling. Uh, the JS file. Now you can see export is not defined. Okay, why it was? Ha, huh, yes, we forgot one thing. Especially, you need to mention here system JS. Okay, here you need to mention system. Okay system yeah now if I generate this file so let's see this file right now it's a command js uh, compiled one so now we are going to compile to system register so system js now it's convert to system js let's see now it's get a print yeah now you can see this is right now working perfect you can see now we are using uh, we are importing these things import is not going to understand browser is not going to understand what is this import is so due to this reason if it is ecma script 6 it's working fine but if you are use if you developing something for uh, all this browser it should be support to es5 it will not going to work so due to this reason we are using this system.js system.js is a module loader it will load and uh, make it to make it available browser can understand that one so right now we are writing everything in our es6 module not a namespace it's a es6 module and uh, due to uh, the older browser support we need to use es it should be convert to es5 due to this reason we use this system dot loader sorry system dot js it will be loading our module dynamically so this is what the real beauty of this uh, uh, TypeScript and the uh, JavaScript. This is why I love uh, JavaScript. And in this video, you uh, saw that the difference between the namespace and the module. And for the recap, I'm just giving you a, a head, heads up here. So, namespace is introduced in the TypeScript, ES module is introduced in ECMAScript 6. In the namespace, you need we consider as an internal module. So we need to concatenate everything and keep in a one file, right? But the ES6 module is considered as an external module. 
to do uh, to work with es module you need to use this export keyword to available outside if you want to import that particular thing you need to use import keyword to import that particular functionalities or methods or variable right but in the uh, namespace you need to use this reference tag and you need to specify the path then only it will be available to access and also namespace you need to declare your namespace and grouping using namespace keyword so to access once again that particular namespace you need to call this namespace after uh, uh, declare or after uh, specify the path after that you need to call this particular namespace name and you need to call what the functions or what is the variable you want so this is basically the difference between this uh, namespace and the module so i hope you guys uh, learn in this video so many things right so i hope you enjoy this video as well uh, so if you have any questions regarding to this uh, put below in the comment section i once i free i definitely reply to your comments and yeah so i think i covered everything then guys i will catch you on new video bye